Welcome to Pattern Making Class. I'm your college instructor, Annette Julie, also fashion designer and production pattern maker to the industry. Today we're going to be working on added fullness using our side front princess seam bodice. So you would have needed to watch one of my past videos or have your own princess seam bodice. And you can use any of your princess seam panels. Here's the center front. But you're, we're going to focus on the side front today. So you're going to need your scissors, pencil and pen, some tape, perhaps an awl, 2 by 18 inch clear plastic ruler, some pattern weights, and if you don't have pattern weights, you can always use little cans. And we have our hip curve. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of pattern paper. Big enough to fit that piece on. That looks good. And we're going to start by making a copy. So it looks like I can put my grain line right there using some alpha numeric paper. You can use plain white or tan paper. You can use tracing paper. Go ahead and weight that pattern down with the grain line. So if your grain line is not fully extended, we want it to go all the way to the edge so it lines up. We're going to weight that pattern down and now we're going to proceed to trace this off. Looks like it moved a little bit, so let me go ahead and adjust it. Here's my shoulder. And here's the front princess seam. There's our bust mound. You can use a ruler to sort of keep the paper flat when you're tracing off. If it's a totally straight line, like my shoulder was, or this part of the bust, I can also use that to, uh, to trace off. We always want to make sure to transfer our notches. And in the front we have single notches on the side front. Continuing to trace off my princess seam over the bust mound, transferring the other single notch. Between these two notches, we will, uh, that is where the ease is dispersed. Great, now we're going to go ahead and trace off the waist. And we'll get to our side seam. And this pattern piece I'm working with, it has seam allowance already in it. So when we trace it off, we need to make sure that we mark that on the pattern and denote that we have seam allowance so that you don't go back and add it again. Let's go ahead and trace off our armhole.
and it looks like we have everything traced off. Let's go ahead and lift that pattern up. First thing you want to do is bring those notches in. And I like a little U around them so we can see that they're a notch and not just a random line. And now we can mark our seam allowance. And from the side here, we're gonna go up. That's our side front. And here is our armhole. We're gonna go in. And in the shoulder, we would go in. So if you were just to put that few notches just on the side there, that would be plenty information to show the seam allowance. You could use your notching tool and notch out. We can go up. And that accounts for the whole entire seam. And then we don't need to mark the shoulder on this side because we already have a notch here showing us the whole entire seam is a half inch. We'll get some arrows going both directions. Great. So we're going to make some added fullness and we're going to do this under the bust mound going down. So we don't want it to go any further than this notch here. So I'm drawing a line. Here's the notch perpendicular. It's right under the bus mound. Okay, so we have about five inches. So we can go ahead and divide this up here how uh, into thirds or fourths, whatever you see fit. I'm going to divide this into fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and mark each line at an inch and a quarter. up an inch and a quarter, and our last is at an inch and a quarter. Now we can take these lines across, and we're gonna make them perpendicular to our grain line, and parallel with the line that we just drew under the bust mount. And these are one and a quarter inches apart. mine and they can be different for you. We're just dividing the lines up. We're just dividing up that space. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to cut these pieces off and we're going to spread them out to give ourselves added fullness. I'm going to go ahead and cut around the edge. And cut my princess seam bodice out. We know it has all that seam allowance in it. Cut out my shoulder. My armhole. And my side seam. the hem. Now I'm ready to go ahead and cut all my slash lines. 
we want to grab a little piece of paper that we can put underneath. Brought some paper off the roll, and I need to put it down in this section. This part I'm not even going to adjust, just the bottom. So let's get a grain line on our new piece of paper. I don't think we need this much, but I'm just going to keep it on there until we don't need it, and then we can save it for later. So we have all these lines to cut, and we're going to start and position this up here at the top. And I'm going to tape it down once I cut off the lower section. I'm going to give myself a line to place the top of the bodice down. We're working with our side front princess panel. That looks good. Tape it in place. And then now we can go ahead and spread this. Instead of placing it back like this, we're going to put fullness, added fullness, into the pattern. So as the pattern maker, designer, it's your choice. How much do you want to put? I'm going to add an inch and a half. You could add one inch, two inches. I chose an inch and a half. I'm going to go ahead and tape this back down once I have this in place, lining up my grain line. And then we'll cut off the next piece. Now we're going to section this off. And add fullness right through here. And then we're going to come back and blend our side seam and our princess seam to make a nice, long, smooth line. Add it an inch and a half, the same amount. I'm going to tape this down, getting it on grain first. Grab some tape. Cut off the next piece. Let's go ahead and add our fullness. We're going to turn this into shearing on both of the seams. It could also be a drawstring that makes shearing. Drawstring with a casing.
one more piece to cut off and add a bit more fullness. This is a woven pattern, but you could apply the same method to knit. So now I'm going to tape things down a little bit more so they're not moving around. This is also a slash and spread method. We learned slash and spread with dart manipulation or bust. That looks good. So if I added two or three inches, maybe the pattern would get longer and this waist would be down here. But I would add even amounts between each one. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the bottom since I don't need this for now. And we'll do a little bit more taping here on the side before I smooth out and true the side seam and the princess seam. And by truing, we're going to find the most accurate representation of the line. So here you can see we have a bunch of lines that are jagged. There's nothing here and a pointy jagged. Nothing here and a pointy jagged between each section. So we take our ruler and we're going to go from the bottom of the waist right to under the bust and we can go ahead and draw that line. Now we can also take our curve ruler and we can contour that line a little bit because it was contoured anyway when we originally started. So I think I'll start with this contour line using a portion of my curve ruler. I'm going to go in, cut off some jagged edges right there, and then now we can go to the side seam, and this is going to be a straight line. We're going to go from the bottom of the side seam right up to the base of the armhole, and I think I'm going to add a little piece of paper right there. Just in case I need a little eighth or sixteenth of an inch. We're straightening this out from the side seam, waist up to the side seam, base of armhole. And we're cutting little bits off here, just a little bit. Now that's our new side seam, and I'm glad I add that little piece of paper right there. Now we're ready to go ahead and cut it out. Now we're going to go ahead and cut out the princess seam. That was our side seam. And this is contoured a little bit. It, it curves in.
And that's what our bodice, our princess seam, looks like with the added fullness. This is a side front princess seam. This is also a first pattern. When you have tape or extra paper or what have you and it's not totally perfect, we call this a first or working pattern. So we have arrows both directions. And this is our side front princess panel with added fullness. Your name, the date, because you're a pattern maker, size eight, and then if you had a style number, that would go there before the, the description. Also, this whole pattern has seam allowance. So it's this piece has transferred into this one. We could also add added fullness into the center front or the center back or side back. Well, this is Annette Julie, and I look forward to watching one of my next videos.